BMW has finally released its first teaser of the new 8th generation BMW 5 Series and confirmed it will debut in October before launching early next year. The 2024 BMW 5 Series, with all the new fully electric BMW i5, production started recently at BMW Group Plant Dingolf in Germany. Welcome to Ride Revolution! In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the manufacturing of the 2024 BMW 5 Series in Germany. The BMW 5 Series production in Germany's Dingolfing plant was chosen specifically because of its features. There is a great assembly of various parts, such as steel, aluminum, carbon fiber composites, and SMC, while using advanced welding, joining, and laser welding techniques, with completely automated robots performing insanely better at spot welding. The production site in Lower Bavaria, which is going to be celebrating 50 years of BMW productions, has now improved its third fully electric model in two years, following the BMW iX and BMW i7. These pure battery electric vehicles share a total production at the BMW Group, making it the largest European manufacturing location. On top of confirming the 2024 BMW 5 Series release, the company also presented sedan and touring wagon that would be available with mild hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and battery electric powertrain options. At the Germany plant Dingofling, automakers confirmed that there will also be a fast full electric and performance version for the first time in any BMW vehicles. Now, if you take a better look at the teaser image of the all-electric 2024 BMW i5 sedan, hiding something under. So, it's obvious that in 2024, the new 5 Series will keep its traditional three-box silhouette, including boxier styling and a fresh light signature for its daylight running lamps. BMW chairman Oliver Zipsa said that the success of the BMW i4 M50 and BMW M, which were the best-selling models last year, this set up a precedent that meant an M performance version of the 5 Series would follow. He also said that the growing popularity of the 5 Series Touring meant that an all-electric version of the wagon in 2024. The BMW Group relies on flexible architectures and offers most of its models to customers around the world with different drivetrain variants. The BMW 5 Series, like the BMW 7 Series and BMW X1 before it, will be available with a fully electric drivetrain or an internal combustion engine or as a plug-in hybrid. This requires a very high degree of flexibility, but allows the company to use the German plant to use the power efficiency. This has been made possible by extensive investments in the production network. The BMW Group has invested more than 1 billion euros in integrating the BMW iX, BMW 7 Series, and BMW 5 Series at the Dingolfing vehicle plant. The new 2024 BMW 5 Series will be produced alongside the 7 Series, 8 Series, and iX SUV at the Dingolfing plant in Germany, where the company has built over 10 million examples of the 5 Series since BMW introduced the first of eight generations back in 1972. The all-electric 2024 BMW i5 is equipped with extensively advanced 5th generation BMW eDrive technology and is being launched with various options. The BMW i5 560X drive, which combines up to 601 horsepower drive with M performance and various design features, including two highly integrated drive units on the front and rear axles, makes up an electric all-wheel drive. Meanwhile, the new BMW i50 eDrive 40 is going to be powered by an electric motor that drives the rear wheels and generates a maximum output of 340 horsepower and a maximum torque of up to 430 Nm with the advanced sports boost or launch control functions. The BMW i5 eDrive 40 accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 6 seconds with a top speed of 193 km per hour. When it comes to the M models, the system torque that is generated is up to 820 Nm when the M Sport Boost or the M Launch Control function is activated. This enables the new 2024 BMW i5 M60 to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.8 seconds. Its top speed is electronically limited to 230 km per hour. 
the space-saving high-voltage battery is located in the underbody and provides a usable energy content of 81.2 kilowatts per hour. In addition to the efficient electric motors, the latest version of adaptive recuperation and an intelligent combination of heat pump technology for heating and cooling the interior, drive and high-voltage battery contribute to the long range. The combined charging unit of the BMW i5 enables AC charging with an output of up to 11 kilowatts as standard and up to 22 kilowatts as an option. The high voltage battery can be charged with direct current with a power of up to 205 kilowatts. For example, the battery charge level in the BMW i5 can be raised from 10 to 80% in around 30 minutes. If you want to take a look inside, interior-wise, the 2024 BMW 5 Series will feature the automaker's curved display that runs on a Linux-based BMW operating system 8.5, but shortly after the launch, this will be wiped out for its next-gen Android-powered operating system 9.0. There's no word yet on the replacement for the flagship BMW M5, but the save money is it will live on as a PHEV with the development of the mighty 550 kilowatt to 1000 NM 4.4 liter twin turbo plug-in hybrid powertrain used in the upcoming BMW XM label red. Diesel engines will continue, and as per, the petrol combustion engines will gain 48 volt mild hybrid technology. BMW i5 production has officially commenced ahead of its first deliveries later this year. The electric sedan is being manufactured at BMW Group plant Dingolfing, which is the automaker's largest European production site. A mid-sized sedan, the i5 sits in between the i4 and the i7 in BMW's all-electric lineup. It will be sold alongside the identical but petrol-powered 5 Series. Pricing for the i5 will start at $66,800 in the US. That gets you the i5 eDrive 40, which is rear-wheel drive and has an estimated EPA range of between 270 and 295 miles. The eDrive 40 produces 340 horsepower, allowing for a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 5.7 seconds. The future of BMW's trademark inline six-cylinder powertrains is still to be confirmed.